Following a class action lawsuit against Sony for defective DualSense controllers that are adapting stick drift as well as broken adaptive triggers in a short time, Sony has actually revised or revamped the DualSense controller in the background without announcing it to the gaming community. There is a way to tell simply by flipping your controller doggy style and looking at the back serial number or FCID number if you are on the new version or the original. Now this can make a huge difference for durability and long-term reliability as the original DualSense version was only rated for a little over 400 hours of consistent play before failure. If you own a PlayStation 5 or plan on getting one in the near future, I strongly advise you watch the rest of this video. Let's get it. Now, if you purchased your PlayStation console, which included a controller over about eight months ago, or you've purchased a DualSense controller off the shelf earlier than about the last four months, you will most likely have the older version of a controller. Now, you can try and get in touch with Sony as there is a class action lawsuit, and there is a chance, a small chance, that they will actually respond to your email and ship you out a replacement. However, that is very hit and miss, and even if Sony does send a replacement controller, it would probably take several weeks or months. But this is a fantastic guide if you are going to be purchasing a new DualSense controller, especially a customer premium one between 150 to over $300. Now, the main issue is that Sony sourced their thumbsticks from Alps, who's a major thumbstick module supplier that bulk produces these things. They're inside of the Nintendo Joy-Cons, which are absolutely notorious for stick drift. And unfortunately, the DualSense controller is in the same wiggly boat. As for the adaptive triggers, they are an awesome feature and work in conjunction with the haptic feedback vibration to give a truly immersive experience. However, the original adaptive triggers were having issues where the cogs or gears would get bound up and simply jam up and stop working. Either complete malfunction where the trigger would be jammed and unable to be pulled, or simply the adaptive trigger motor that adjust how much tension or what effect you're feeling in your fingertips would stop working. I'm going to take you in the living room and show you a couple of factory stock OEM controllers, as well as some custom and premium versions to show you where you can find your FCID number and separate the shitters from quitters. I guess they're shitty if they're quitting on you. The version that will last you longer. Alrighty, Stallions and Stallionettes, now we're in the living room. I am AK-40 Kevin, your controller captain. Today, we're going to be going over a couple of different ways that you can differentiate the older version of the DualSense controller versus the new version. We're going to start by looking at a couple of OEM factory standard stock Sony controllers to show you how to differentiate without disassembling your controller. Then we're going to look at a couple of custom and premium versions as well. Those are two different types of controllers. Custom controllers are ones that you can spec out on an online builder and choose everything head to toe, tip to tits, increased thumbstick tension, removing the rumbles, custom faceplate, etc. And and premium controllers are ones that generally have features like rear buttons, swappable thumbsticks, and trigger locks, but they come one size fits all, things like Razer's lineup, as well as Nacon, Astro C40, and the Microsoft Elite controllers. The easiest way to differentiate between the older version of the DualSense and the new is to flip your controller on the back side and look at the FCID number. And if you look at the end character, if this is a one, that means you are on the older version and you have the original thumbsticks and adaptive triggers. However, if it has an A at the end, like this white version, as well as this carbon black edition, then you are on the new revised updated version. Now do use caution because a lot of custom controllers such as this Battle Beaver that was spec'd out on their website is still using the original DualSense controller as their base prior to customization. Unfortunately, same thing with the Scuff Reflex. As you can see, it has the original controller specifications up here with the FCID number ending in one and then the product has been modified by Scuff Gaming. Now if you do have a custom controller like this AIM DualSense which has a custom back shell as many of those on the wall do, there is simply no FCID number because it is a custom back shell. You are unfortunately going to have to disassemble these controllers. However, it is not that difficult and I do have a full teardown guide in the description below. And what you will notice is the new thumbsticks have an orange panel or plate around the outside of the thumbstick module. As for the adaptive triggers, they look virtually identical on the outside. So the only way to tell is through time and durability testing. Welcome back. I didn't go anywhere, but you sure as hell did. One surefire way to make sure that you are getting an updated or revised controller is to stick with the Galaxy collection. So the purple, teal, pink, red, etc. Some of the cosmic black controllers were produced prior to the Galaxy Galaxy collection coming out as they did drop the black controller carbon black a few months prior to the colorful Galaxy collection. And a lot of the white controllers that you will find on the shelves, maybe if it's got a little dust on top, you know it's been sitting there for a while because hey, if people can't get their hands on these consoles, why do they need to buy the controllers, right? So some of these controllers have been sitting on the shelves for several months. Now, unfortunately, there is no way to tell from the actual packaging, the box of the controller that it is on the new FCID number. There's no stamp that says new and improved or anything. I do think Sony should have a revised stamp on the box letting you know it is the new version but what you can do is order from something like amazon or walmart that has a no questions asked return policy keep your receipt open up the controller look at the back mm -mm, this is the old one put it right back in there send her on her way with cab fare 
Now, as for ordering a customer premium controller, I would strongly recommend reaching out to the manufacturer, so Scuff, Aim, Battle Beaver, etc., sending them a quick message and asking them what version they are using for their base or platform to customize on. They most likely will know exactly what you're talking about. If not, send them the link to this video. That's going to do it, Stallions and Stallionettes. Hopefully, I saved you 70 bucks or 150 plus if you're on a premium controller, and the heartache of having your character wander around the screen when you're not touching your controller or your triggers self destructing on your fingertips. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers, this information will reach in a system as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. Check out Into the AM for some of the sickest looking and most comfortable cloth to ever grace my gaming giblets. If you don't want to be scorching your corner, is with harmful blue light, check out Gamer Advantage, the only blue light glasses on the market that look sexy and actually work. If you're looking for a custom controller that'll blow the competition's tits back, AIM definitively has the best bang for buck or price to performance when it comes to Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch controllers. Nope, they don't do Switch, but they do do gaming mice. I said doo-doo. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. If you need a quick laugh or blast of gamer adrenaline, check my short form videos out at TikTok. To get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of Gamer Heaven, Join the community Discord and check me out at twitch.tv where I go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my pH balance is on point. Just kidding. Starting June, I'm going to be live streaming a lot. Thanks for watching. This has been AK40 Kevin hosting Gamer Heaven, and I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily all the time, 60% of the time, sometimes, most of the time. Peace.